If you watched my set review on Temporal Forces, then you probably saw that I didn't have the highest praise for Raging Bolt DX. This card's bad. I'm dunking on it. This card is like a two, bro. Or as some are calling it, Raging Bulk EX. <laughs> Raging Bulk. <laughs> But that's just my opinion. Don't let me deter you all you Raging Bolt believers out there. My good friend Jesse Parker, for instance, thinks this card has a lot of potential and has been working on his Raging Bolt deck list over the course of the last few weeks. In today's gameplay, he's going to be showing off his Raging Bolt EX deck against my Lugia V-Star deck featuring the new Chinchino from Temporal Forces. Let's take a look at what Raging Bolt EX can do. Raging Bolt EX has some really good stats for a basic Pokemon. Clocking in at 240 HP, it is very difficult to knock out. And since it's an ancient Pokemon, it also has access to Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, meaning you can boost its HP all the way up to 300. It's got two solid attacks as well. Its first attack, Burst Roar, costs one colorless energy and allows you to discard your hand and draw six cards, a great consistency option for kicking off the game. And its second attack, Bellowing Thunder, can one-hit KO anything in the Pokemon TCG. It costs a lightning and a fighting energy and allows you to discard any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon in play, dealing 70 damage for each energy you discarded. So if you discard 4 energy, that's 280 damage. 5 energy, that's 350 damage, one hit KOing even Charizard EX. Since Raging Bolt EX is an ancient Pokemon, it has access to Sada's Vitality to help accelerate energy into play every turn. But you can also pair Raging Bolt EX with Sandy Shocks EX. Sandy Shocks EX is also an ancient Pokemon and has the Magnetic Absorption ability. Magnetic Absorption allows you to attach a fighting energy from your discard pile to Sandy Shocks EX so long as your opponent has four or fewer prize cards remaining. So once your opponent takes a knockout on Raging Bolt EX, you can use Sandy Shocks EX to charge extra energy into play to power up Raging Bolt EX's Bellowing Thunder. With Raging Bolt and Sandy Shocks EX, it's possible to accelerate a ton of energy into play and take huge one-hit KOs on your opponent's Pokemon. In the gameplay ahead, we use slightly different translations for Raging Bolt's attacks as we didn't have the official translations yet at the time of filming. I'm excited to show off what this deck can do, but before we get to it, let's hear a word from my sponsor, Full Grip Games. Temporal Forces singles and sealed products are available for pre-order now at FullGripGames.com. Get your decks up to date and ready for rotation with the new Ace Spec, Ancient, and Future cards from this exciting expansion. Shopping at FullGripGames.com directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. So thank you so much for placing a pre-order at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's get to the gameplay. All right. Heads or tails? I'll call heads. It is oh, heads. Yeah. I'll go first. Okay. Um, I have Pokemon, so that's cool. Yeah, I think I'll start this guy. Cool. I'll take my mulligan. All right. Good luck. Good luck. I will draw for turn. Pretty good opening hand here. Got some uh, ancient cards, the ancient booster energy capsule, the earthen vessel to go get some energy, and my radiant Greninja. I'll start by benching radiant Greninja. I'll play Earthen Vessel to discard a card and search my deck for two basic energy. Um, I cut down to three Raging Bolt, so, um, okay, they're all here, so that's good. Off Earthen Vessel, I'll get Fighting and Lightning Energy, and I'll use Concealed Cards to discard uh, energy from my hand and draw two. Um, definitely think I want to play this Ultra Ball. I'll start with a Pokestop. I'll use Pokestop to discard three cards from the top of my deck and put any items into my hand that I find. Energy switch. Attach Ancient Booster Energy Capsule to Roaring Moon EX. That is not a Roaring Moon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Attach Ancient Booster Energy Capsule to Raging Bolt EX. 
Definitely going to attach an energy to him as well. I think it might be worth it, honestly, to just let this hand rip, to be fair. I'm going to Ultra Ball away, energy switch, and Ultra Ball. Get Squawk Ability off Ultra Ball. And I'll use Squawk and Seize to discard my hand and draw six cards. Play Trekking Shoes, look at the top card of my deck, and then I can either put it in my hand or discard it and draw another one. I think I'll keep it because I really do want another Raging Bolt EX. And I'll go ahead and bench that. Eh, seems like a good turn one for me. I will pass to you. Draw. Got a pretty solid opening hand. In true Lugia fashion, it gets a lot better if I flip a Tails on this Capturing Aroma. So that's <laughs> going to be the first thing that we see. Play Capturing Aroma. It's a heads. Because Tails, I could have gone and got uh, Luminion. Luminion for Jacques. And then Ultra Ball away, um, the two Archaeops I get with Jacques to go get Lugia V. That was like a potential play that I could have done. With Capturing Aroma, I'll get Archaeops, which goes into my hand. I'll play Mori's Conviction, discard the Archaeops from my hand, and I draw a card for each of Jesse's bench Pokemon, so that's a draw of three. Finding Nest Ball here was super clutch. Play Nest Ball. I can go Minchino, and then I can call for family to go get a Lugia. Yo, that's kind of sick. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking that that's probably my play. With Nest Ball, I'll get Minchino, which goes straight to my bench. Ultra Ball, discard Lugia V-Star and Collapse Stadium. With Ultra Ball, I'll grab Lugia V and put it onto my bench. Then... Attach Gift Energy to Minchino and retreat my Mew EX into Minchino. I'll Call for Family. With Call for Family, I'll get just one Minchino to save some bench space just in case Jesse decides not to knock out my active. Draw. Start by using concealed cards. Draw a couple cards. Use Professor Sada's Vitality to attach two energy to two of my ancient Pokemon and draw three cards. Play Trekking Shoes. I will take it. Shoes again. I don't think I really need this Earthen Vessel. I think my energy situation is pretty good, so I'll discard it and draw another. Sandy Shocks is exactly what I wanted. Get one of those down. And I'll attach a Lightning Energy onto my Bench Raging Bolt. Bench another Raging Bull EX. I'll use Climactic Descent for 70 damage for the knockout. Okay. Minchino goes down. Jesse takes a prize. And with Gift Energy, I get to draw three cards off the top of my deck to start the turn. And there's that Master Ball. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Promote Mew EX and draw. Master Ball is actually... Gonna come in really Telling clutch. You, man. <laughs> I can't believe it, but it's really gonna work. Evolve Lugia V into Lugia V Star. Play my A Spec Master Ball. Master Ball allows me to search my deck for any Pokemon I want. Any Pokemon. Wow. In the Lugia V Star deck, that's really all you want is to just go get the right Pokemon for the right time. So with Master Ball, I'll get Archaeops. Play Ultra Ball, discard Archaeops, and double turbo energy. With Ultra Ball, I'm getting Chinchino. Evolve my Minchino into Chinchino. Now it's time to Summoning Star. Gosh, you know how long it's been since I've summoned Feels like a star? It's been ages. <laughs> summoning Star to bring two Archaeops from my discard pile onto the bench. I'll use Primal Turbo number one. Primal Turbo allows me to search my deck for two special energy and attach them to my Pokemon in play. With Primal Turbo number one, I'll get V-Guard energy and Mist energy. And attach those to my Chinchino. Use Primal Turbo number two. With Primal Turbo number two, I'll get V-Guard and Double Turbo energy. I'll attach Gift energy from hand to my Chinchino. <laughs> wow. And I'll play Iono. Well, all right. 
Really hoping that I can find another Minchino off of this Iono to six. I get five. Play Capturing Aroma. Heads, unfortunately. I'll take Lugia V-Star. I'll retreat into my gigantic Chinchino and use Special Roll, which does 70 damage times the amount of special energy cards I have attached to Chinchino. That is 350 minus 20, 330 in the knockout. Seems pretty good. I'll take my two prizes. Yeah, I really need to deal with this guy. Ideally, I'd like to use my single prize Coridon, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Um, I will promote Raging Bolt EX, draw for turn. I'm going to start with a Pokestop. Ah! I was hoping I didn't mill that. That's okay, though. Palpad to put a Sada back into my deck. I'll play Trekking Shoes. Discard that and draw another. Pokegear 3.0. Look at the top seven cards in my deck and put any supporter into my hand. There is the Sada. So I'll play Sada's Vitality to attach a Lightning to Raging Bolt and a Fighting to Sandy Shocks and draw three. I'll use Concealed Cards to discard a Fighting and draw two. I'll use Magnetic Absorption. To attach a fighting energy card to my bench sandy shock since you're on four or less prizes energy switch off the sandy shocks to raging bolt bench another sandy shocks i'll just play this hisuian heavy ball to take the sandy shocks so there's no other fighting energy in my discard pile so i can't use the other sandy shocks but that's okay i use climactic descent to discard a fighting energy from raging bolt and a fighting energy from Sandy Shocks for the knockout. 140 damage. Chinchino goes down. And I'll promote Mew EX. Draw. Use Primal Turbo. I do have boss's orders in hand, so I can just boss up the Squawkabilly and stay on my 2-2-2 two, two, two grind. I'll Primal Turbo for two double turbo energy. Attach them to Lugia V-Star. Bench Lugia and bench another Lugia. Primal Turbo again for a single gift energy. Boss's Order is Squawkabilly. Retreat into Lugia V-Star and Tempest Dive for Knockout. I will not discard the stadium. Okay. I think I, I think my plan here is to Iono and take a knockout if I can find my one Iono. And I think it is still in deck. Yes, it is. Okay. I'll promote Raging Bolt EX. Draw for turn. There it is right there. I had two Poke Gear to try to find it too. I'll start by using Magnetic Absorption to put a Fighting Energy on Sandy Shocks and also one on this Sandy Shocks. Then I'll Energy Switch onto the Raging Bolt on the bench and attach for turn to the active Raging Bolt EX. Ultra Ball, Pokestop, and Hisuian Heavy Ball. Yeah, fail that. I will play Iono. Both okay. players shuffle their hand, put the bottom of their deck, draw equal to their prizes. I draw four, Andrew draws two. Play Nest Ball and fail it. And then I'll use Concealed Cards to discard a card from my hand, and, or uh, Energy, and draw two. I'll use Climactic Descent to discard four energy and for 280 to take the knockout on your Lugia V-Star. Lugia goes down, promotes Mew EX, and draw. This is not great. I've got a really tough decision to make because I've got this Minchino... I've got boss's orders in deck. I don't have Lugia V-Star established. I think first I have to Primal Turbo. And just get this energy onto Lugia. And then I'll Primal Turbo one more time. If I find both 
Ultra Ball and Capturing Aroma off of this, I can win off the Pokestop. And now we see if Pokestop provides. Play Pokestop. It does not provide. No. Which is okay. Means I have to try and stall for time. Bench Minchino. Play Professor's Research. Evolve both of these into Lugia V-Stars. Retreat Mew EX into Minchino. Past you. I will play Nest Ball. There's two boss and two Poke Gear in the deck, so I hope I can find it. I will bench Sandy Shocks EX. Use concealed cards to discard an energy and draw two. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you're done. <laughs> I'll play Poke Gear to take a boss's orders. I'll attach for turn. I'll use three magnetic absorptions. Boop, boop, boop. Then I will play boss's orders on your Lugia V-Star. No, on and the I Lugia. Will do climactic <laughs> descent for 420 damage, baby. Dang it. Woo. Oh, that was a close one. That was close. GG's. Yeah, GG's. That was sick, dude. Raging Bolt getting in there. It was, definitely. That was uh, a lot of fun to see. Lugia you were, set up pretty good, too. Yeah, yeah you were able we were to get firing. some huge, huge attacks very consistently. I mean, yeah. and that's kind of the selling that's point. What this deck does, yeah. Yeah, of Raging Bolt, definitely. And then the Prime Catcher, I didn't get to use it that game, but you could see, like, if I still have Prime Catcher in deck, like, that would have been another just way to, like, I could Sada and then Prime Catcher. I think that... I think that makes like playing a, f a four Sada deck like not not feel as bad because yeah. you still have a way to gust after you know accelerating energy. I think going into game two, I'm gonna choose to go first. Gonna just try and get a powerful board, a turn two attack. That's the dream. Let's see if we can do it. Blech. These have been pretty good hands too. Two no mollies. Let's go. Lugia takes those all day. I'll take my two mulligan. Good luck. Good luck. Draw. I've got a solid mulligan assisted opening hand with Archeops, Ultra Ball, some energy. A lot of energy. This deck always has energy in the hand. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah. Yes, always some tough calls to make. Ultra Ball, discard Archeops and Collapse Stadium. I think I'll use Jet Energy to just get my Lugia V into the active spot. That kind of seems like the move. That way, Jesse's not really threatening a turn one knockout. I'll check my Minchinos and my Chinchinos. Unfortunately, I have prized two Minchino, but it's fine. I've got one. I can work with that. I'll Ultra Ball for Lugia V. Put it onto my bench. Jet Energy... To bring Lugia V to the active spots. And I'll pass to you. Draw for turn. And I think I'm going to try to take the KO on that Minchino. So I'm going to start by playing Prime Catcher to bring up your Minchino. And then I'll play Nest Ball to go search my deck for Raiding Greninja. Currently do not have a uh, Sada in my hand. So that's what I'm going to be looking for off this Greninja and my trekking shoes. Concealed cards, discard an energy and draw two. Trekking shoes. There's the Ultra Ball. Yeah, I'll take Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball away. Energy switch in Hisui and Heavy Ball to search for Luminion. I'll then bench it and use Luminous Sign. Search my deck for a supporter. Take Professor Sada's Vitality. Play Professor Sada to attach a Lightning to Coridon and draw three. A hey. bench raging bull DX, bench sandy shocks EX, attach a fighting to Coridon. I'll use primeval beating, which does 30 damage for each ancient Pokemon on my board, so it does 90 damage for the knockout. Boo, Minchino, no. <laughs> Goodbye. Draw. Evolve Lugia into Lugia V Star, and I'll bench Luminion, use Luminous Sign. Luminous Sign for Professor's Research. Attach double turbo energy to Lugia V-Star. Bench Lugia V. 
and play Professor's Research to discard my hand and draw seven. Summoning Star for Archeops and oh, Mincino. I've been outplayed. Let's go, dude. Let's go. You're not go. allowed to do that. <laughs> Primal Turbo oh. for Gift Energy. Play Capturing Aroma. Tails. It's not really anything else that I want on my bench. I'll fail it. Tempest Die for the Knockouts. Okay. I'll promote Raging Bolt EX. Draw for turn. Ultra Ball away to Energy Switch for a Raging Bolt EX. Play Iono. We'll shuffle our hand to the bottom of our deck and draw equal to our prizes. We each get five. Earthen Vessel discarding Fighting Energy for a Fighting and a Lightning. Uh, concealed Cards, draw two. Attach Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Attach Basic Lightning. Bench Sandy Shocks. And I'll use Bursting Roar to discard my hand and draw six cards. Here we go. That's pretty cool. Draw. Kicking things off, the boss's orders. Bring ah. up that Luminion. Oh, yeah. Evolve Lugia into Lugia V-Star. Attach Double Turbo Energy to Minchino. Primal Turbo. Like Primal Turbo to the Minchino. I mean, that is a little bit of like a... <laughs> like I'm projecting at this point. I can't power it up in one turn. I know I can't. Um... If Jesse bosses up my Mincino and knocks it out, it's a little bit sketchy. I'm going to go for it. Heck yeah. Primal Turbo for a V-Guard and Gift Energy. Attach those to Mincino. Play Capturing Aroma. Tails. Grab Mew EX and put it onto my bench. Put Mesagoza into play and restart for two. Mesagoza. <laughs> Maybe we should go to a smaller size. What do you think, Andrew? No. no. <laughs> this dice is <laughs> going to be the reason why all my cards have dings on them. That's so true. Capturing Aroma for Archaeops. Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, and Archaeops to get Chinchino, and I'll evolve my Minchino into Chinchino. Tempest Dive, discard Mesagoza, and I'll take my two prize cards. Okay, I'll promote Raging Bolt EX, draw for turn. Actually, would kind of like to boss your Sinchino here, if I can. So I'm going to try to go for that. I'll play Earthen Vessel, discarding Switch Cart. So yeah, we will take that Fighting Energy. Concealed Cards. Okay, there's Poke Gear. Play Pokey Gear. I will take the boss's orders. No. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Target the rats. No. Or bad. The, or the mice or whatever they are. Bad, bad, bad. I'm calling it a rat. I'll use two magnetic absorptions. Boop. Boop. Attach for turn to Raging Bolt EX. Hmm. I think I'll use another magnetic absorption. That's a powerful Pokemon right there. I'll play Boss's Orders on your Sinchino. And then I'll use Climactic Descent for 140 damage for the knockouts. My poor rat. Jesse goes to four prizes, takes out my one-hit KO potential. I forgot about Gift Energy. Oh, I don't want to forget about that. Yes, yeah, so with Gift Energy, I get to draw four cards. Draw. Play Ultra Ball. I'll discard Lugia V and Archaeops. I'll Ultra Ball for Archaeops. Bench Minchino. Attach Double Turbo Energy to Lugia V Star. Play Master Ball. I'll fail the Master Ball. And then Primal Turbo for Gift Energy and Double Turbo Energy. And I'll play Professor's Research. Capturing Aroma. 
Tails. Fail it. Retreat into Archaeops and Speedwing for 100 damage. Okay. Draw for turn. I'll use Poke Gear for Professor Sada. I guess I'll Ultra Ball away Raging Bolt and Nest Ball. Okay, I'll take Squawkabilly EX. I'll use Concealed Cards. Okay. Professor Sada's Vitality. Attach a Lightning and a Fighting to Sandy Shocks EX and draw three. Trekking Shoes. Discard and draw another one. Trekking Shoes. Take. Trekking Shoes. I think I have to take that. Retreat. Let's make him big. Play Super Rod. I'll Super Rod back Luminion and two energy. I'll use Magnetic Absorption. Here, one on this Sandy Shocks. And then I don't think I'll use the other one. And then I'll use Earthen Spike for 170 damage for the knockout. With resistance, Archaeops goes down. I've got no more energy acceleration, that is sad. I get to draw one card off of my gift energy, which was an energy, so that's very good for me. Promote Mew and draw. Evolve Minchino into Chinchino. Boss's orders your Raging Bolt with the 100 damage on it. Attach V-Guard energy to Lugia V-Star. Retreat into Lugia V-Star. Tempest Dive for the knockouts. Okay, so I have to KO you now. So I'll promote Raging Bolt, draw for turn, play Nest Ball, shuffle. I think I'm going to bench Mew EX. I don't need boss anymore. Ultra Ball away, boss and Squawkabilly. Just fail it. Play Pokestop, and then restart for two. Okay, cool. Professor Sada, just one energy, a fighting onto Raging Bolt. Oh, phew. And draw three. Attach for turn. Play Pal Pad. Put back Iono and Professor Sada. And then I'll Climactic Descent for 280 damage for the knockouts. Lugia goes down. I can't draw off a gift because I have seven cards in hand. Promote Mew EX and draw. And I've got exactly what no. I need. Mist Energy. Final boss's orders on ah. Radiant Greninja and Tempest Dive for game. All right, all Ooh right. You got me. Wee. Barely. Oh, man. <laughs> With the one Archaeops. <laughs> yeah. One Archaeops sometimes enough, you know? Yeah, I'm going to choose to go first in this next game. Okay. And uh, I think going second's fine, too, because Lugia going first can just have some real potato starts. So, um, But I think uh, there, I, I even think there was argument for Lugia to choose to go second like when it was popular, just because it was so important just to have a strong turn one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I am going to choose to go first, and then hopefully I can just uh, mow down your Lugia. Hopefully you just have a slower setup, kind of like you did that game. Um, and I don't miss a beat. That's what I got to hope I'm for. I'm thinking this is going to be the three Chinchino game. Ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just like a single Lugia. It's all Chinchinos all the time. The dream. Yeah, well, let's do it. Good luck. Draw for turn. I think I will Earthen Vessel first and then play this Trekking Shoes. So Earthen Vessel discarding Fighting. So off Earthen Vessel, I'll get a Fighting and a Lightning. Play Trekking Shoes. I think I'll just discard it and draw another card. Yeah. Energy switch, okay. Play Nest Ball for Radiant Greninja. Concealed cards. Bench Sandy Shocks EX. Do I want a Pokestop? I think I will. Vessel discarding Energy Switch. And just get one fighting out of the deck. And then I'll use Pokestop and discard some supporters. Okay, I'll take it. That's fine. Play a Suing Heavy Ball. And take a Coridon. Okay, it's a good idea to bench this, so I'll play it on my bench. Attach a Fighting Energy to Coridon. 
and then pass to you. Draw. Ooh, baby. Yeah, this hand is looking <laughs> just as ugly as oh, they come. Gosh. I mean, just absolutely horrendous. Hey, you got the focus stop. I do have the focus stop. Just <laughs> you were like praying. I've I that know, on. and it's crazy because the focus stop. <laughs> I mean, really does a lot. I didn't even look at your hand, so I had no yeah. idea. No. Just an ultra ball. An you're ultra in ball there, bro. Does a lot. If I get an ultra ball, we're in there. Hit the stop. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Bad. All right. I mean, you get to play. <laughs> I do get to play. I found a nest ball. Play nest ball. I think I'm going to nest ball for a Mincino. Call for family kind of And then call for family is like. It's not bad. Is like the play. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then next turn, you top deck an ultra ball. That's right. With Nest Ball, I'll get Mincino. Attach double turbo energy to Mincino and retreats. I'll use Call for Family. Did you discard your Prime Catcher or no? No. Okay. Call for Family. I'll grab two Lugia V, which goes straight to my bench. Okay. Draw for turn. Concealed cards. Oh, yeah. This is a powerful turn. I'll Ultra Ball away Boss and Earthen Vessel for Luminion V and use Luminous Sign for Sada. Oh, yeah. This is the Prime Catcher finally oh, coming yeah. in clutch. Yep. Bench Raging Bolt EX and use Professor Sada's Vitality to attach a Lightning and a Fighting Energy here and draw three. Prime Catcher... <laughs> One of those Lugia V. I don't want to poke a stop because there's nothing that I can get off that that will help me. All my earthen vessel are gone, are gone, so I will use Celestial Roar to discard my hand and draw six cards. Whew. Feel like I kinda got away with one there. Yeah. Draw. Play capturing aroma. Tails. <laughs> Off capturing aroma, I'll get Minchino. Poke stop. Hey, discard an Archaeops. I did discard one Archaeops. Bench Minchino. Jet energy. Didn't just want to attach to the active. No, I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to switch them around. <laughs> Read the wind, baby. Let's here go. Draw for turn. I will use Concealed Cards. E, there's Sada. Professor Sada's Vitality to attach a Fighting to both of my Bolts. Draw three. Attach Ancient Booster Energy Capsule to Raging Bolt EX. Attach for turn onto this Raging Bolt EX. I'll use Climactic Descent to do 280 damage for the Knockout. Lugia goes down. Jesse takes two prizes. And I'll promote Mew. Draw. And it looks as if I'm finally finally in here. Okay, let's let's see what we can we can do. Evolve both my Minchino into beautiful Chinchino. And play Jacques. The Jacques. <laughs> the Jacques. With Jacques, I'll get Archaeops and Lugia V-Star. Ultra Ball, discard two Archaeops. And fail it. Evolve Lugia into Lugia V-Star. And use Summoning Star. Get two Archaeops from my discard pile straight to the bench. Primal Turbo. I need to do 300 damage. I'm running out of resources for sure this game. <laughs> <laughs> Are you supposed to be able to attack with, like, two Minchinos in a game? Oh, no, man. <laughs> I'm just out here vibing, all right? <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, Primal Turbo for a Gift and a Jet onto Chinchino, and then I'll Primal Turbo again. I'll get V-Guard and Jets. Haven't attached for turn yet. Attach Mist Energy from Hands to... My bench Chinchino, play Master Ball, my Ace Spec, and fail it. <laughs> it's hard to show off the Ace Specs because they're just one of. So they're not like even there, Prime Catcher. It was like I got I moved my guy and I just and I used Celestial Roar. Like 
Master Ball is clutch sometimes. I just it there's is. a lot of search in this deck, so after you get set up, it's not good anymore. Yeah. Then I'll restart for two. Retreats into my glorious Chinchino. Nice. And special roll for 330 damage in the knockout. Take Holy. two prizes. I think I just have to attack with Coridon here. Let's up and roll him and draw. Glad to see the Super Rod because this is my last Raging Bolt. So I'd like to put another one back in the deck. I'll Super Rod back a Fighting, a Raging Bolt, and a Mew EX back into the deck. Gonna Nest Ball and grab a uh, a Raging Bolt. And then play Professor Sada's Vitality to attach a Lightning to Raging Bolt and a Fighting to Coridon and draw three. Use Concealed Cards to draw two. Attach for turn to the Raging Bolt on the bench. Use Magnetic Absorption. And I'll Primeval Beating for 120 damage for the knockout. Chinchino goes down. Jesse takes a prize. And I get to draw two off of Gift Energy. Promote Mew EX. Draw for turn. Capturing Aroma. Hence, I was really hoping I could find boss's orders. There are three in my deck. Ugh. I checked your discard file to see how many boss you had in there. Just because I was like, that's definitely what you want to do this turn. It is definitely what I want to do this turn. I'll fail at capturing Aroma. See if I can't find a boss. Ultra Ball, discard, research, and missed energy. Fail the Ultra Ball. Bench Lugia V. Primal Turbo. Double Turbo Energy and Gift Energy to Lugia V-Star. Primal Turbo again. Put two Double Turbo Energies onto my Chinchino. Pokestop. Okay. Could be worse. Capturing Aroma. <laughs> Tails. Fail it. Jet energy to Lugia V-Star. Restart for one. Drat. Iano. <laughs> My hand was freaking humongous anyway. I mean, it so. was huge, yeah. Capturing Aroma. Fail it. Tempest Dive for Knockout. I'll bump your stop. Okay. Promote Raging Bolt EX. Draw for turn. I will Trekking Shoes. Discard and draw another. Play Nest Ball. I'm just going to get Mew EX. And then I really just need to find the Sada here, so. Play Poke Gear. I don't need Sada. I missed it. I don't need it, but it would be nice to have. Energy Switch off Sandy Shocks to the Active. And then restart for two. Attach for turn onto this Raging Bolt. And then I'm going to play Iono. I draw three, you draw three. I'll then use a Magnetic Absorption. And then I'll use Climactic Descent for 280 damage for the knockouts. Okay. Lugia goes down, and I draw four cards. Off of the Gift Energy, promote Mew, and draw. Primal Turbo. I do have an Iono in the deck. Primal Turbo, one energy onto Chinchino. But there's no way I can thin this godforsaken hand down <laughs> to draw and try and find my Iono. Evolve Lugia into Lugia V-Star. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Attach, Gift Energy, Ultra Ball, Discard, Chinchino, and Collapse Stadium. One out of five chance. Fail it. I do have a one in five shot. Finding my Iono. Put Mesagosa into play. Restart for one. Dang it. Mess ball. <laughs> Fail. Boss's orders your Raging Bolt with the energy on it. Retreats. 
and special roll for 310 damage in the knockouts. Okay. I'll promote Mew EX and draw for turn. Play a suing heavy ball. Put that prize back. I'll bench Sandy Shocks EX. Attach Ancient Booster Capsule to Raging Bull EX. Play Switch Cart. Play another Switch Cart. Restart for two. I will then play Professor Sada's Vitality. Fighting Energy here and a Lightning Energy here and draw three. I'll attach for turn and use two magnetic absorptions for fun. I'll retreat. And I'll use Climactic Descent for 350 damage for the knockouts. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, those are some bad beats for the Lugia deck for sure. <laughs> it was cool. It was two decks that are capable of some really big one-hit knockouts slugging back and forth. I mean, some really high damage output from the Raging Bulk. Uh, Raging Bolt. Hey, watch it. <laughs> and also from the Chinchino, though. So that's pretty exciting, the fact that Chinchino can actually ramp up to 330. It's enough to knock out Charizard. It's enough to knock out an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Raging Bolt, an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Roaring Moon. I mean, just the biggest threats in the format. And it's a single prizer. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was my first couple of games with this deck, and I felt like I learned a lot about it uh, I definitely am not going to underestimate Lugia with Chinchino. Yeah. Seems like a super valid deck. And I have to say, uh, the Raging Bolt deck seemed pretty neat. Yeah, Raging Bolt. I'm I'm actually kind of a big fan of this. I didn't think I'd like it so much, but it just flows really well. I kind of like the way... It kind of just feels like Roaring Moon, but instead of just... I mean, you just have a bulkier attacker. Like, you yeah. have a 300 HP Pokemon with the tool. Even without the tool, 240 is, like, so much for a basic. So, like, I was playing three tool, and I cut to two, and yeah, he's just a big guy that can just take big knockouts. Even against single prize decks, it doesn't feel as bad as Roaring Moon, because he just takes, like, pretty easy knockouts in single prize. With Roaring Moon, you have to constantly be finding that stadium to be able to do the bonus damage to KO, like, stuff like Cramorant. And that Sinchino having 110 HP, you need to be discarding a stadium every turn. But this is just, like, you know, two energy, not too bad. Your, your Sandy Shocks sync really well with the deck. I really like this build a lot. Um, you just have even just one there with an energy switch is enough to, you know, alleviate having to find a Sada every turn. So yeah, the deck is flowing really good. I really like the way this list is built. Definitely. It looks solid. The energy switches were a nice touch. Definitely yeah. like the inclusion of those. Jesse and I are going to pick which matchup we want to play next, and then we're going to take a quick break.